Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Harabsky. Police have arrested a man they say was involved in a South Minneapolis homicide of a young woman. Hannah Conway joins us now with more on the victim and how family and friends are remembering her. Chris, right behind me at the corner of 18th Avenue and Lake Street, a vigil's underway for Yadira Ramiro Martinez. You can see everyone gathering with balloons. Now, just a few hundred feet away from here, along 18th Avenue, is the home where Martinez was found dead Friday afternoon. I spoke with her family members earlier today, and they had nothing but good things to say about her, including the fact that she always made an effort to ask how you were doing. She had a really good personality. She was always inviting, so she would always smile, say, how are you doing? At just 19 years old. She just turned 19 a few months ago. Yadira Romero Martinez moved from Mexico to Bloomington, Minnesota with her younger brother. Parents were not here. They were a thousand miles away, so, so they, they really didn't have, I would say, um, you know, people to go actually look out for them in a way, so it was really up to them. It was on Friday that police announced the suspicious death of a woman in a South Minneapolis home. At this point, this is being categorized as an unnatural death. Jorge Ramiro heard the news and was shocked to find out it was his cousin Yadira. We didn't put two and two together because we just didn't expect it to be so sudden. With the ongoing homicide investigation, family members like Ramiro are left with more questions than answers. For all the news to just come in little by little and not knowing anything, it's, it's, you know, you really don't believe that this is reality. The family is raising money through GoFundMe to be able to send Martinez's body back to Mexico. We have a link to that and other information on our website, care11.com. Live in Minneapolis, Hannah Conway, Care 11 News. All right.